So, how would I fix The Walking Dead? Well, let's find out, shall we? So now, I'm going to explain why and how I would fix The Walking Dead. So now, you see the show right now, you see how it's like 11 seasons or 10 seasons right now? Fuck that shit. In my story, if I run this show, if I was a showrunner of The Walking Dead, it will only last six seasons. The show would end after six seasons. That's what would have happened. The show will not drag out if I was a showrunner. It will not drag the fuck out. It would have been like Breaking Bad. When Bre Breaking Bad ended after five seasons. And that show was a masterpiece. If I was, if I was a showrunner of The Walking Dead, that would have been a masterpiece. Because six seasons is good enough. 12, 11, 10, that's too fucking much. E e even eight seasons is too fucking much. So, here's the thing. Number one, I will I would never ever kill off Shane until like the sixth season, the last season, the sixth season in my story. I will not kill off Shane to the sixth season because he he was the best character in the fucking show. He was Rick's best friend. Rick and Shane is like Heisenberg and Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad. That's how great those two characters are. They're like they're like Walt, Walt and Jesse. You should never kill him off over a fucking woman. They should never did that type of scene at all. Lori should have died in season two after she had birth to her child. That that's when that's when those two would stop fighting each other, and they would have moved on after that shit happened. Okay, that that's what would have happened. Number two, don't kill off Carl. They kill off Carl in eighth season because of stupid fucking reason. He gets bitten or something. No, keep him alive till the keep him alive after everyone dies after the sixth season. Everyone dies except for except for Carl. Carl got to go on his own and figure out to to, to survive alone by himself, which. I would make a spin-off series with Carl, and he's all about Carl, about Carl in the first season surviving alone, meeting different people, you know, he likes going by himself alone, he's in this like other people be around him. That's how that's a spin-off show would be like with Carl. But them, they were like, oh, let's kill him off. Fucking retarded. You should never do that, especially he's the son of Rick. That was fucking stupid as hell. Another thing is, okay, so another person I would kill off was Carol. I'll kill the, f I'll kill her off because she's her character is like really pointless and boring as shit. I will definitely kill off Carol. Carol sucks ass. Some old grandma bitch. She, she just, she's not an interesting character. She's like one of the worst characters. I would kill her off like the third season at least. I don't really care about Lori that much. E oh, I had to say Lori. I'll, I'll think, about, I'll think about somebody else. Yeah, like I said, Lori's kill off second season. She was. She was fucking up the whole chemistry between the two best friends. Uh, let's see, what are our characters? Fuck it. Herschel, you keep Herschel alive until the fifth or sixth season. Keep him alive until uh, maybe Negan bashes his brains in or something. Yeah, that's right. Negan, instead of him coming as the, the seventh season, he comes into like the fifth or sixth season is when he shows up. So like, uh, like you fucking have these filler episodes and shit, and all of a sudden now Negan shows up. Like, come on with that bullshit. So, so, let me tell you, these are the characters that will to survive until season 5 through 6. Okay, Rick, Shane, Glenn, Carl, Daryl, Michonne, Maggie, Tyrese, T-Dog, Merle, Herschel, Lenny. Those are, those are the gang that survives. Because, you know why? Those are really good characters. If you kill them too early, it's like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, those are really good characters. Yeah, Merle, yeah, you know Merle had problems with T-Dog in the past. You know, the, f the first season. Maybe because, you know, he, he was going through shit, you know, like, fucking... Well, yeah, he was, like, he was like really annoyed because they were trying to, to get off that roof and shit. Because all the walkers and shit. So I understand why he would, he would act like that. But to me, the character would have... I would have had the character apologize, had the character apologize to T-Dog. And be like, you know what, man, I, I didn't mean to act like that. We're going through some hard times then. You know, I'm sorry about that. I mean, call you N-word and shit. You know, you talk all country and shit, you know. 
See, he is, he is the fucking, was his fucking brother, uh, Daryl's brother. I don't know, maybe, maybe I would kill him off when the thing happened with the whole, the, him working with the governor type of shit. You know? Yeah, speaking of which, yeah, the governor, I, 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 I would leave the governor where season three and four, you know, keep that character around. Actually, I actually like that villain character, you know, kill him off, like season four, three or four. No, season four, kill him off season four. And like, you know, season six, you know, like Rick and Shane, like in the season finale, like Rick and Shane had like had enough of Negan, so they got pissed off and then they start a war and shit. You know, it, it was between Rick and Shane and Negan. Like Rick and Shane got team out and you know beat the shit out of Negan and they all kill each other. You know, they all fight to the death and they all die. All three of us die. Besides them dying, everyone else dies too. It's on Carl left. Carl now not Carl got this vibe on his own. In a spin-off series, you know, Carl's spin-off Walking Dead series is just him alone through the whole first season. And our season, maybe he, he finds other people. Now that's that's what we we'll fucking do. It, it's, the last season of Walking Dead will be badass, like the, like Breaking Bad. How that ends, badass. We just say they get to, like everyone dies in, in six season. Everyone fucking dies off season five to a six list. Everyone dies. Maybe I don't know. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, I, I don't think I don't think I want Maggie to survive either. Maggie gets killed too. I think everyone gets killed. Yeah, besides that, they gotta fight that fucking tiger guy. You know, the, the dude has a big ass tiger. Uh, the the actor's name's Carrie Payton. You know, he has a big ass tiger and shit. You fight fight his bitch ass too. Like it'd be, it'd be a whole fight to death. Just like, just like with the governor, they fight him to the death too. Or Rick and Shane. No, not, not always just Rick and Shane, but Shane kills that motherfucker in that one. You know, that's what that's what fucking happened. Like, why should it have been fucking awesome if I wrote that shit? If I wrote the Walking Dead series? It would have been just like how Breaking Bad. You know? Like I said, like I said, it was the dumbest shit ever killing off Shane in season two. That's too fucking early. Way too fucking early. You should never do some shit like that. You should never kill him off that fucking early. That's that that's shitty writing right there. That's shitty writing. All they care about is fucking soap opera and fucking a Carol a character Carol. And fucking those other shitty ca characters. Like season one to four, he, the, the characters I mentioned survives to five and six, they get killed all season one to four. Kill those motherfuckers off. I, I didn't. I didn't mind that pastor guy with that one, you know, blind eye. I didn't mind him. I, I, don't, I don't mind. He's like with Deegan or something. I, I don't mind him. I, I don't. I don't. I don't mind that pastor guy. Cause you know, f season five or six. I told you that those, the uh, survival game. I said they they they'll get captured by Deegan. You know. You know what happens. You know. Now they gotta work for him and shit, and, you know, Rick and Carl, they get pissed, not Rick and Carl, Rick and Shane gets pissed off, they, they, they can kill, keep killing their boys, Herschel, fucking, uh, you know, Glenn, and you know, I don't know Mike Glenn gets ki killed off again, I don't, I don't fucking care, bash his head again, I don't care. People love people, people that character, Glenn, Glenn's alright, to me, he's alright, yeah, Negan's boys, can they kill off fucking Glenn, Herschel, they, and who else? We can get one more. That, that was like that blow the last straw. Ah, let's see. Merle too. That, and Daryl like Daryl gets pissed off to kill Merle off. I don't know. I keep thinking about me. Merle just just, gets, just dies in the, in the fucking third or fourth season again. That's why I think about that. But yeah, why should have one more badass? I make the, the right characters survive during 5 and 6. Not, not those other shitty characters they have. But like 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 one, like this Angela Wang lady. She sucks ass to be a showrunner, Angela Wang. She had this stupid like Stormtrooper looking guys in the newer seasons. And this chick with this puffy ass fucking fluffy jacket thing on. I'm like, what the fuck is this The Walking Dead? Not Victoria's Secret show. Like one dude, these dudes like fucking Star Wars characters, stormtroopers. Like, there's no stormtroopers in Walking in the Zombie Apocalypse. 
Where do you get all that fucking suits from? Like, what the fuck? It's a zombie apocalypse. This shit is not fucking... It's not fucking zombie accurate. Like, this shit is terrible. I mean, that other guy, that Scott Pimple guy was terrible too, but... She's bad just like him. She's terrible. And we'd be like, Angela Wang's doing a good job as a showrunner. No, she's not. She's t she's trash. If they hired me, it, 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 shit would have ended after six seasons. Trust me. It would have ended after six seasons. But like I said, like I said, my survival gang is way better than their piece of shit survival gang they have. They those, those characters suck ass they have with those people. Like that one guy looks like Seamus from WWE or something like that. That guy sucked. And yeah, these other fucking these dumb bimbos that like is in the show. I don't fucking care about those chicks. I mean that one chick that plays Susie Crabgrass from uh Ned's Class Five. I don't mind I don't wanna mind her being be there season five or six. I wanna mind her. But everyone else, like I said, they just killed them off. Like, it was, they ain't worth this fucking trouble. Yeah, the governor, the governor stays, Negan stays, they stay. Rick and Shane and Negan, they all fight. Rick and Shane team up and they fight Negan and they all fight to the death and they all bloody up. They all die. All, all the characters die is, is that survive to season five to six. They all die. Just Carl. That's it. That's my story. Way better than An A Angela Wang Tang Wang 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 and fucking uh, Scott Pimple Dimple. Okay. I, I would admit A A Angela Wang's pretty high. I'll, I'll admit to that, but she she can't run a show for shit. I'm sorry. Sorry, she can't run things. She's like Scott Pimple Dimple. It's terrible. They cannot run. They you can't, they don't know what bad ass is. They don't know what bad ass is. They know just bad or ass. The only thing like I can write is wussy, wussy crap. The only thing like I can write is wussy crap. Bad or ass, not too bad. Like, is it how you know how to bad ass shit? Like a lot of action in there and not like that young and restless crap. Like I said, if you got me to write that show, it would be just like how to break it bad would have been like. You know, badass shit, but it's a little zombie apocalypse type of thing. None of that young and the restless crap. Soul Pop. I was like, no. A lot, a lot of action. I hope a lot of action there. A lot of gun shooting. You know. You know, it's about survival, not fucking emotional crap. What the damn time? See, like, see, you saw Breaking Bad out of here? You're, you're more fucking better than you written. Because, you know, it's George is a genius. Better call Saul or something. Well, we got a Way better. Well, the Angela Wang is not pickle devil. They don't know how to do shit. They're fucking Angela Wang, they, they they don't know how to do shit. They're they're terrible showrunners. They don't they don't know anything about zombie apocalypse. They don't know Robert Kirkman's fucking writing. They don't they don't give a shit. They just want to make money. Dumb dot and dumb fucking zip man. Scott Pimple. Oh yeah, by the way, I stopped watching the show right after the fourth season. That's how bored I got of the show. Also, Rick and Shane whoop a uh, fucking uh, Simon's ass also. So yeah, after season two, that's how my story turns out to being. Way better story.